Charity question come from IMSO2019. This is a competition for primary school students. You are asked to find all positive integers n such that n factorial plus 2019 is a perfect square. In other words, we want to find n such that n factorial plus 2019, which can be written as k square, where k is n integer. Let this number to be j. If n equals to 3, then j will equal to 3 factorial plus 2019, that is 6 plus 2019, it is 2025, that is 45 squared. So when n equals to 3, this number is a perfect square. This is a number line where this is 0 and this is. 2025 that is equal to 45 square then the next perfect square is 2116 that is 46 square the distance between these two will be 46 square minus 45 square that is 46 plus 45 46 minus 45 this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 91 any number in between 45 square and 46 square it cannot be a perfect square. Likewise, for the previous number, that is 44 square. We are not interested to know what is this number, but we know that the difference for these two perfect square will be equals to 89. Now we see that 2019 is somewhere here. When n equals 1, you have, and when n equals to 2, you have somewhere close to 2025 and both of them are not perfect square how about when n equals to 4 when n equals to 4 you add another 18 to this number so it will be still within the interval this means that when n equals to 1 2 or 4 j is not a perfect square now this is the interesting part of this question we wish to show that n equals to 3 is the only value of n such that n factorial plus 2019 is a perfect square. Of course, you are not list out all the value of 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on and so forth. So there are a few methods that I can think of. It's either looking at the last two number or to consider modular 4. You can pause the video for a while and work out your own answer and comment to me if you have a different solution. For now, I'll erase this to save some space. What we have just now. Now, if n is greater than or equal to 5, then n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1, all the way to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you can see that it has a factor of 2 and 5. So it is divisible by 10. If n greater or equal to 5, the last digit of j will be equal to 9. If j is a perfect square and the last digit is equal to 9, then the last digit of k is either 3 or 7. So let's say j is a perfect square, then k has to be of the form of 10a plus or minus 3. So the last digit of k is either 3 or 7. And this means that k square is equal to 10a plus or minus 3 square. So this will equal to 100a square plus or minus 60a and plus 9. Now we are going to consider the last two digits of k square. Then we know that the tens of k square will be an even number. So it will be equals to say so the last two digits of k square will be m9 where m is an even number. Now we go back to look at j. What happened to j? When n is greater than equals 5, we already see that n factorial is divisible by 10. 
Furthermore, we can say that uh, n factorial not only divisible by 10, but it is divisible by 40. It is divisible by 40. And what does it mean? If n factorial is divisible by 40, this means that when n greater than or equal to 5, the last two digits of j will be n factorial plus 19, and it is equal to u0 plus 19. And this will equal to v9 mod 100, where v is an odd number. Let me repeat again. When n is greater or equal to 5, the last two digits of n factorial will be u0, where u is an even number, because n factorial is divisible by 40. Since this is an uh, even number, so u0 plus 19 will be equal to v9 for some odd number v. So in this case, k, the last two digits of k square is m9 where m is an even number. For j, the last two digit is v9, where v is an odd number. And therefore, j is not possible to be a perfect square. And this means that n equals to 3 is the only answer for this question. As usual, I prepare one similar question. You may try it and check your answer in the description. end of today's lesson. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.